<laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to Fireplace Fan Fiction. My name is Terence O'Darrison. And my name is Henry Graham R. We'd like to welcome you to the program today where we read only the finest fan fictions, um, which we believe is really an underappreciated art form, one of the one of the genres of literature that I think just doesn't get the praise it deserves. That's exactly right, Terrence. We have a few special selections just for you viewers. Now, before we continue, we won't be sharing the entire story, but we want you to go and experience it on your own terms in your local Barnes & Noble, Borders, or Target, what have you. If you'd like to make a donation, head down to your local library and you can fill out a form to make a donation to Fireside Fan Fiction. It keeps us up and running. Today's selection is called Sonic High School by Dark Doom Fire Master. <clears throat> Henry, would you like to start us off? <laughs> I'd be honored. Sonic woke up and looked at the clock. Seven o'clock, it said. And Sonic screamed, I'm late for school. I have to get to school now said Sonic, jumping out of bed. Sonic put his clothes on really fast and ran out of his room because he is fast. No time for breakfast, said Sonic as he ran past Sonic's mom. You will regret this, said Sonic's mom, leaning at him from the kitchen stove, wearing aprons and oven mitts on her hands. Sonic did not care. He was late. Sonic ran outside and ran to the bus stop where people were getting on the bus. <clears throat> Tails, Knuckles, wait for me, said Sonic as he ran towards the bus. Hey, Knuckles, it's Sonic, said Tails to Knuckles at the bus stop. He is late, <clears throat> said Knuckles to Tails before getting on the bus. Sonic ran so fast to the bus, and he got on the bus after Tails. Just in time, said Sonic, huffing and puffing, like he was doing the Cupid Shuffle for the first time. Sonic sat down next to Tails, and Knuckles sat behind them, taking up both seats. I'm so bad, said Knuckles, laughing because he sat where two people could sit. Knuckles did this every day, and no one ever bothered him. But they all knew it was against the rules of both man and God. The bus started and drove out the school and parked, and they got out. We're at school now, said Tails. It is time to go to class. So it is time to go to class. Sonic was also at school, so he went to his first class of the day, English class. Sonic did not like English very much, but he did not like any class very much that was not about running and going fast, which is what Sonic does best. Sonic got to his first class and sat down in his seat. Hmm. It is journal day. Hmm. It is journal day, said Sonic's English teacher, Miss Lesson. Miss Lesson was tall and white and had gray hair, and she was not pretty. Take out your journals and put them in a pile, and I will read one of your entries to the class. Are you okay? Are you okay? are you okay, Terence? Is everything okay? I was I was thinking about something and ha <laughs> ha! Don't we all? <laughs> okay, let's continue the read. Sonic took out his blue journal and ran to the front quickly and put his journal on her desk and ran back to his desk, all with his head down and not talking or looking at anyone. Sonic was so fast that he did it first. <clears throat> Everyone else did it afterwards and slower. Don't we all? <laughs> it's your turn, Terrence. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mrs. Lesson grabbed a journal from the pile, and Sonic knew it was his because it looked like Sonic's journal. <clears throat> Sonic knew this because he had written in it so many times, it was crazy. 
Mrs. Lesson opened it to a totally random page, and it was the worst page she could pick. She began to read. Carry on. Anyways, dear journal, I called the doctor today about a problem. I have a problem with my... <laughs> I have a problem with my balls. They are itchy, and it is difficult to sit still with them because they are so itchy. I have to back up against stucco surfaces and rub... <laughs> I have to back up against stucco surfaces and rub up and down on them to relieve the itchiness. No creams have worked. Creams only make my balls... <laughs> creams only make my balls sweat. Like the breath of a thorough... Cream... Like the breath of a thoroughbred, and I think Amy, my girlfriend, noticed. I hope my doctor calls Love Sonic. <clears throat> I, I I love the attention to detail. Oh, and that's, that's superb. <laughs> that's what this genre is known for. Such 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 attention to detail is, I think, lacking in other genres. And this is you're only going to find it here. Now, folks. Dark Doom Firemaster has quite an exotic way of writing his fan fictions, and you'll definitely pick up on that. Oh no, stop reading, said Sonic. <laughs> How ironic. But he reacted too late because it was already read. All of it. Everyone in the class laughed and Sonic felt like an idiot asshole. Because now everyone knows all about his ball problems. <laughs> I think it's time for a little swig of <laughs> whiskey. Cheers, mate. Here's to... Here's to Dark Doom Firemaster. Here's to Dark Doom Firemaster. Am I right? Or am I right? You're both, my friend. Sonic felt his rage build up inside him. Like a pool of lava in a volcano. Stop laughing at me. Don't tell anyone! shouted Sonic, but everyone was laughing so loud that they did not hear him, and Sonic was just so embarrassed, and mad and sad, but more embarrassed, so he ran out of the class fast. Sonic ran to his locker and opened it and screamed into it. He screamed, this sucks. <clears throat> Sorry. He screamed, this sucks, and curse words too. I think it's your turn. What is the problem, said Tails. Are you mad, said Tails. Sonic was so mad he nodded. You should tell everyone that it is okay to have problems with your balls and that they probably have problems that they don't want anyone to know about, so stop laughing at me. <clears throat> Sonic thought Tails was right because Tails was smart. Knuckles was there too, so he said, Sonic, what is this I heard about you having problems with your penis and balls? <laughs> Sonic was so mad again, so he punched Knuckles and ran away quick, as Sonic so often does. Oh yes, that Sonic is one fast fella. Where Sonic ran to was his next class. It is now second period, so it was okay. And that class was history class. Sonic did not care about history class. Hey, Amy said Sonic, check me out. And Sonic did a dance move. Fortnite's gotten very popular, hasn't it? We're in the 90s. Wow, cool, let's kiss, said Amy and Sonic, and Amy kissed right there in the class, and some of the other people in the class watched, but the teacher wasn't there yet, so they didn't get in trouble, and who is gonna tell Sonic he can't kiss his girlfriend in, in class? Amy kissed Sonic so hard that he wasn't thinking, Let's have sex, but he didn't say it because the teacher would show up by the time they started to have sex in history class. Sonic kissed back really hard, and it was sexy to everyone. The, te the teacher arrived, and they did class, but Sonic just looked at Amy the whole time, who was sitting next to Rouge. 
Amy and Rouge talked and they looked at Sonic sometimes and laughed and Sonic thought Amy was telling her about how awesome Sonic kissed her. But it was not. Rouge was telling Amy about Sonic's gay ball problems and Amy was Sonic's girlfriend, but she thought it was just the funniest thing ever. Class ended and Sonic went to Amy quick and did not stop on the way. Hey Amy, why did you go and tell Rouge? Actually, Rouge was telling me something about the problems with your balls and penis and butthole that everyone found out about in your English class. Wow, was Sonic surprised. He did not know what to say. Thoughts on the first chapter? <laughs> I'm just settling in. This is going to be a long ride. Don't you dare patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the day for Sonic was awful. So bad it was that Sonic went home and went right to the bathroom and took a big poop. It was a mad poop, because it went out fast. It shooted out of his butthole so fast. <laughs> just, just get through it, Henry. It's really hit home. It's a, it's a live show. I understand we all get emotional sometimes. His poop stunk so much. <laughs> his poop stunk so much that even the neighbors could smell it, and they all had a meeting at night about what to do about it, and they decided that they would just put fans on the outside. Did you know? Tails' name is Tails Miles Per Hour. Miles Per Hour. Wow, I didn't know that. I can definitely see the, the pun in that name, though. <laughs> Clever name. I'd like to see something else, if you know what I'm saying. The next paragraph. <clears throat> Sonic, are you okay? asked Tails. I was worried about you, Sonic. Sonic cried a little, and Tails put his hand under his face to catch his tears. <laughs> tears can stain a carpet. They sure fucking can. Terrence, <laughs> could I interest you in a smoke? Absolutely. Thank you. Tails hugged Sonic and said, I am always here for you. The promise tonight also. Wow, I forgot, said Sonic. <clears throat> Sonic ran into his closet fast and pulled out his prom uniform. It's a tuxedo. And put it on faster. Is our limo here yet, Tails? Said Sonic while looking at Tails. Yes, said Tails. Let's go. And Sonic went outside with Tails, who was also in prom clothing, and they went outside and got in the limo. <laughs> Classy. The limo is broken, said the limo driver. Sonic and Tails got out of the limo and asked the limo driver if they could fix it. Nope. The limo is broken eternally. What? What is that device? What? What? Where did you get that? We didn't want to give all away. Yeah? <laughs> we didn't want to give away all the good parts. So we skipped ahead a few chapters to give you something a little different. Espio walked to Rouge's house because it was time for their date together. And all Espio could think about was that they were about to make sex for the first time. Espio looked at the computer and read about them with the news. <laughs> Espio looked at the computer and read about what to do 
and what the right words were so he would know how it works and how to st say it right so no one would make fun of him. It was Rouge's house he was at now, and it was in front of him. Where are you taking taking me on our day tonight? Whispered Rouge in a sex-filled voice. <laughs> Espio said, yes, this hat was made by Tails specifically for our date. It makes it impossible to see and impossible to hear while I'm wearing it. Espio did a cool face at her because being smart can be cool too, as long as you're not a nerd ass. <laughs> Rouge said, okay, let's go inside, and gently grabbed Espio's hand, but he pulled it back because, and she was failing because, <laughs> and she fell, causing him to fell, and they both together fell to the grass. Espio's penis was really big from looking at Rouge, like when he was in church, and it's so boring, but you just get a bar anyways. <laughs> We all, we've all been there. It's a natural reaction. Of course. It's natural. Rouge's vagina looked like a surprised ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me there, Terrence, I just had to <clears throat> stretch a little bit. I'm having trouble too. I'm, I'll be honest with you, this is a little bit of outside of my reading level. <clears throat> At that part, Espio screamed. <laughs> I don't know what it says yet. So I'm trying not to look at it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, at that way, I'm trying to find where you are. <sighs> sight reading here. I'm sight reading. At, the, at that part, Espio screamed. It's semen time. <laughs> <laughs> and Rouge shouted. Create a generation in me. <laughs> Holy shit. Henry, I believe these last two paragraphs are, uh, are yours. They're all mine, huh? <laughs> Take it home, as we say. We do say that. We do say that, don't we? <laughs> now that they were done doing sex, they put their penis and vagina and balls away, and Espio took over the inv invisibility hat. And it was like nothing ever happened. Bye bye, said SBO, and SBO walked off her property. Thank you so much for joining us today. I think we both had a very, very nice, reflective time reading this wonderful literature. And um, we, we hope you join us back for more. If you if you have any suggestions, feel free to head down to the. Feel free to head down to the Calabasas local library. Um, there will be a box on the counter that says Fireplace Fan Fiction, and, and, and drop in your suggestions. We'll, we might even read it on the show. <clears throat> That's right, Terrence. We really appreciate you for watching. Until next time, we'll be here by the fireside. Catch you later. Stay tuned. Until next time, we'll be here by the fireside. We can't wait to have you again. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful thank you for joining us on this wonderful <clears throat> thank you for joining us on this wonderful novel what's the, what's the word for like